welcome to Spectacle on Television Nigeria. I am your host, Daniel Atai. They started. <clears throat> Yeah, patriotism and citizenship uh, on spectacle today will look into the citizenship with respect to identification and obligations. I am your host, Daniel Atai. I am not alone in the studio, but I'm with an ace journalist, a public and current affairs uh, commentator, and the person of uh, O.J. Matthew. It's a pleasure to be here. You're welcome to Spectacle. Yeah, thank you very much. OJ Matthew works with the Vision FM and is an analyst. Now, back to the topic. Nigeria secures via the National Identity Management Commission the sum of $488 million from the World Bank and the European Union and also from other partners for a five years planned project of digital system of national identification. Per year, 50 million citizens will be issued the card to create a single database of the entire population. That is, within five years, 200 million citizens of Nigeria, which is the estimated population, would have been captured and documented. This scheme is important in order to have a 100% database identification of citizens and non-citizens of this nation. At the moment, only about 35 of citizens were properly documented for identity despite the previous exercises of data capturing and identification. The 308, the 38% which is assumed to be low for Nigeria, uh, that is what we have attained now in our country's population, are judged to be the largest in Africa among those who have this particular documentation. Out of the 100%, we have 38%. And according to the NIMC, which is the uh, National uh, Identity Card Management Commission, the Director General, Mr. Aliu Aziz, a new digital system will be launched in collaboration with other government agencies and the private sector by the end of this month, which is September 2019. And we have to keep this in record, and that is why Spectacle will analyze this particular stuff. In his words, and I quote, we have a thousand data centers across the country, but not enough capacity to capture and provide the identification of about 200 million citizens and non-citizens resident in the country. This is why we are partnering with private and public agencies. Of course, reasons for this new decision by the federal government to harmonize all database documentation for citizens comes ahead of plans to make sure citizens have identification number before they could be issued one international passport or passport of any kind before they could vote, before they could open bank account or receive pensions. It would be a citizen's access also to any national benefit or participation in national decision-making activities. That is why the government is looking into this. Nigerians in diasporas are not exempted from the scheme. They would be required to register once the process begins. And of course, uh, O.J. Matthew, yeah. Uh, 488 million dollars is what the NIMSI have secured from European and the European Union and the World Bank and other partners which I will be naming uh, on the course of this program for this national digital identification. We'll call it harmonized national digital identification. What prospect do you see in this scheme that is about to take place? Well, um, this scheme is um, uh, something that is supposed to have uh, taken place uh, before now. Okay. Nigeria is uh, you know, a country that lacks this uh, central biodata 
you know, um, uh, system. Uh, system. Okay. Um, it's really unfortunate that when somebody uh, somebody commits a crime okay. in this, uh, in this uh, you know, uh, country or, or in this climate, it's always difficult uh, for you to actually identify who has you know done this. We we actually don't have you know uh, a central. Uh, we we actually don't have you know a central you know a data that can capture everybody's information. Okay. You know at you know, uh, at a go, mm -hmm. and that is why you see that at every point in time. We you know you you are required to go and register for a particular you know exercise here and there. Yeah. If we have a central you know data like what the uh, NIMC uh, is about to do now, yeah. you don't need to go into this uh, rigorous uh, you know uh, uh, pain in trying to get yourself registered for anything. Now talking about this money uh, that uh, has been secured, you see it will be important for us to know how many people that have been captured so far? 38%. Now, 38%. Now, 38%, as we speak, represent 11 million people. Okay. And we are uh, we are close to 200 we, million. We are more than 200 million. But about, well, uh, it depends. The, the, no, the, 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 the accurate estimate is the, 200 the, million, according the, to the... Okay, fine. Is that we are 200 million yeah. or about 200 million, yeah. or what have you, but the, uh, the fact remains that we are well over 100 million. Yeah. But... If you look at the number of Nigerians and, of course, the uh, I mean, at the population of Nigeria and the numbers of people captured already, mm. which is just 11 million, I mean, 11 million people that have been enrolled, then it tells you that there's still a long way to go. Okay. And out of these 11 million people that have been enrolled, only 1 million uh, cards have been printed. Just 1 million that has been printed and 400,000 given out to citizens who have registered. Okay, and all this is, all these things is happening because of what? Because of um, lack of fund for the uh, uh, for the agency and all that. So I think this is a very very good uh, development that they you know they are getting you know, uh, this support from this European uh, you know body and other you know countries to ensure that this program actually kicks off as we speak. Okay, now the the, the federal government have said that. Uh, this project, this particular identification, if you don't have uh, uh, this very program when you start, you will not be able to. You will not be able to vote. You will not be allowed to vote. You will not be allowed to also uh, participate participate in pension activities mm. or any national decision making in terms of politics. You won't be able to. You won't be able to be voted for. Mm. You won't be voted for. You can't vote and be voted for. And again, like you uh, brought the issue of a, a security aspect in terms of a harmonized database uh, system. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, it's going to be a biodata collection. And uh, because of the fingerprint of every individual cannot be seen yeah. in all over the world, like you rightly said. Huh. Several of these particular schemes in time past we've had under Jonathan, under President uh, uh, Buhari, I mean uh, President uh, Obasanjo, uh, that's former President Obasanjo and yeah. former President uh, uh, Yaradwa. Mm. We had these schemes before BVM came to play under Jonathan. Yeah. Uh, is it not enough to have biodata collection from these various agencies because most of those agencies are actually partnering with them like the road safety commission mm. uh, through your national driver's license you are being uh, identified uh like INEC registration you have a biodata fingerprint there yes uh, you've been identified uh the national population census mm. you've been identified uh, even jump, you have been identified, and so on. Uh, is it how this securing of this form is it on loan or grant or incentives as aid? That is just my point because well, the 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 government will have to come out to tell us if this is a grant or if this is a loan. But I am able to understand that NIMC uh, as uh, NIMC as we uh, as we know them actually. Uh, lack fund, you understand? They yeah. actually lack mm. uh, fund.
from the government. And that is why since they actually kicked off uh, this exercise uh, in 2017, I recall that it was actually introduced in 2003 by the uh, Obasanjo uh, administration, okay. but it was, uh, you know, um, it became a law in 2007. Okay. And that is why uh, since 2007, Nigerians have you know, been enrolling in this uh, national identity uh, you know, um, identification you know, uh, yeah. uh, process or this way. Okay. Okay. So we should uh, we should uh, Nigerians should be told whether this is a grant okay. or if this is a loan. But I'm very sure that in no distant future we'll be told the true situation of this uh, over 400 you know million dollars. But the most important thing is that this exercise is very very important for us okay now you talked about the bvn yes. you talked about uh, you know, uh, capturing data of uh, nigerians who uh, who want to be drivers yes, uh, who exactly. are drivers and all that yes, exactly. now nimsi or this national identity uh digital scheme uh, 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 this very uh, scheme mm. or this very exercise yeah. that uh, you know nimsi is embarking upon yeah. on behalf of uh, of the country mm. should actually be the central. Uh, yeah, yeah. Should, yeah. Ordinarily, should just uh, uh, NIMSI should have that central you know, that data address. bank okay. that will have the information of everybody in this country, okay. and, and that I, is where and that is where all these uh, other agencies should all be feeding from. Okay. You understand? So if this thing had you know, had been in place before now. You don't need to go uh, to any bank or to go to the road safety to go and you know start registration all over or to capture yourself so all over. In other so words, it's, it's, it's a nice policy. It's and a nice, nice policy that is supposed to you know <coughs> be there Excuse before me. here. Uh, supposed to have been there before now, and that is why each time you want to uh, you know uh, register, I mean once. Uh, it, if you want to be captured for any reason at all, mm. you go to any agency, they need to, you know, start, you know, uh, capturing all over afresh. again, afresh and all that. It's, so it's uncalled for. Yeah, and it's uncalled for. So we have this, a central, you know, system like this. Yeah. It's just to give, so that, give yeah. them your number and mm. just immediately go to the data bank and get every information about it. Okay, you. and some, some persons have different, uh, like uh, I had the importance of uh, this particular scheme. Uh, some persons have different age uh, age uh, presentation to various uh, uh, documentation, documentation like yes. in JAM, you may have different age in JAM with WIAC, you have different age mm. in WIAC, in uh, INEC, you have different age with INEC, and uh, those, this can stop all those of course, age anomalies. This will age it. actually stop age falsification in the country because the moment you have already been you captured, know, been you captured have by NIMSI, and that is it. Uh, look, look, let me uh, let me give you an example. Mm. Last week, mm. One of the commercial banks, um, you know, in uh, in the country, uh, were you know doing. Um, uh, uh, I mean, their their marketing yeah, officials mm. met me in a restaurant, mm. and they, you know, trying to coerce me into having an account with them. Okay. Well, I told them that look, I have already, I have different bank accounts and all that. They say no, I mm. should, you know, you know, trying to make me, you know, have an account with them. What do they do? I told them, okay, I don't have the time to start, you know, filling any, any uh, form and what, and, and what have you. Okay. And what the marketer told me was, I should just give him my BVN number. Okay. And that was all. And that okay. was how I was registered. I mean, and, I mean, that was how my, and I, 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 I got a bank, you know, uh, account to them with the bank. All right. So this is a pure example of what this, you know, a policy or this exercise will help us. You don't need to, you know, start something that will be rigorous. Once there is a central system where all your information is already there, okay. it's just to just give a number out. Yeah. And they, Does they, it they have any it? political? Uh, although he, he said the, the uh, I think the director general said uh, the Aliyu, mm. he said it's going to be a five-year term. Uh, since we are a five-year program, a five-year program. Mm -hmm. Since we we are two hundred million, mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, that every year, starting from next year, will incorporate or absorb uh, fifty million citizens, and uh, for these very obligations, yeah. and then they will also determine those who are not citizens in the country because of the security factors we are talking about yeah. and this uh, cyber crime. 
uh, is a welcome development. But do you see any political uh, scheme that could come against this very digital scheme? Because I know it has to pass. You see, it has passed through National Assembly already. Yes. And uh, uh, there will be no eyebrow raising towards it, especially when it comes to voting. Because without it in the next five years, it means you cannot vote in the country. Well, um, we'll, we'll wait and see if that will actually uh, be a, a, a law okay. when it comes to the issue of if you, if, if you are not, you know, I mean, if you don't have national identity card, mm. uh, you will not vote. I, I think that one might, um, might, we, might, might, we might have an issue with that okay. uh, because it appears that um, there must be that, this political will mm. for that policy mm. to actually see the light of the day. But we all know that it is very important for every Nigerian to to be um, captured, for every Nigerian to have a national identity card. That makes you a citizen. Okay. In other climes, that is what happens. Okay. It is so, also like helping the national population. Yeah, census yes, to so we should, you should know ourselves. The actual, we should know who is who. Okay. It, it will, it will uh, also uh, you know, ensure security you understand so by the and time this segregation of minority and all that i will not will be get there. to know the actual term of a yes. number of so a, these are some of the benefits of you know this national identity you know a scheme right. yeah. huh. the, the, let, let me give out the uh, uh, partnering agencies with this uh, nimc uh, the following agencies are partners with the NIMC in this scheme. Number one, the Corporate Affairs Commission, which is the CAC. Two, the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board. Three, the Central Bank of Nigeria. Four, the uh, United Bank for Africa. The Federal Inland Revenue Services. Uh, the Federal Road Safety Commission. The uh, INEC, which is Independent National Electoral Commission, uh, the National Health Insurance Scheme, that is NAIS, uh, then the National Population Commission, and the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, the EFCC. Now, looking at these partnering agencies, do you see any escape by anybody? Look, all, the, all these agencies we've just mentioned are very, very important uh, agencies that need everybody's data in this country. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Is it the EFCC? Is it JAM? Is it INEC? Because we are looking forward to, you know, having a situation where I will be voting ele uh, electronically in the future because that has to be done. Because I, I, I know we are, we are looking forward to that so that I don't need to, you know, travel to Benue State to go and vote. Or to Lagos State. Or to Lagos State or to go and vote State. for someone I want to vote for. Yeah. I can be anywhere, just like Americans who can stay abroad and vote for whoever they want to vote for. So I think we'll get to that stage mm. at, one, at, at, at some point. Okay. So that's why INEC is very important in this, you know, in this, in this aspect. <coughs> now, talking Sorry. about the, the immigration, the customs. So that the issue of uh, electronic server uh, will not be a factor yes, anymore. Yes, definitely we'll have... We'll, who we'll have the server at one point, okay. you understand, and all that. So, well, the, the, the INEX says they don't have the server yet and all that, but I know we surely have the server one day. And all these things are very, very important. If, if you look at the card, mm. it's going to be a harmonized one, uh, like like this is my international passport. Yes, now. And I, then uh, you, you have your... Uh, your this, uh, your ATM card like this. Yes. You see it meshed together. Yes, of course. Uh, you have your international passports, right. I mean, a uh, driver's that, license, you merge together and you see all of them merge carrying one single digital uh, tracking number and also obligation number for citizens and non-citizens. Yeah. I think it's a welcome development. It's a welcome development. And, uh, and again, it will, it will also go a long way in uh, trying to stop the the SSAs in some of these agencies like for instance customs yes. whereby when if you want to clear your goods from the port you have to wait for so long all you just need to do give your number out and your data is already there okay. in the system and all these cumbersome uh, you know uh, activities in uh, some of these offices will reduce because your information is already there it's somewhere that they can do they can fetch 
you know, the ambit. In, 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 in other words, words, it can curb also corruption and it crimes. It can curb corruption and everything. So that is why this scheme is a very, very laudable, laudable scheme, and the government should take it really serious. Mm, the government should take it really very serious. Okay, the, the, do you see any other factor that could be against this particular scheme or the duration of time of five years as a plan? Is it a factor? Is it too long a thing to achieve or it should draw closer to the people? Oh, well, whether we like it or not, one major factor or uh, factors that has, uh, has you know, stopped progress in this country is the issue of corruption. Okay. Um, the political will has to be there. And of course, the National Assembly should uh, ensure that uh, their oversight function uh, is uh, needed at this point, so that with this five-year plan they have in, make, in ensuring that they capture every Nigerian will see the light of the day. The issue of corruption. There are those who want to come, a, um, who want to come in and to sabotage you know this uh, policy or this uh, project okay. and so corruption is a major factor mm. and uh, the other thing is uh, government bureaucracy like the current problem with this ongoing um uh, registration now yeah. is that it is too slow okay. and uh, NIMSI have also acknowledged that look the reason why this is slow is because they don't have enough resources they yeah. don't have enough equipment and all that like that so they have 1000 yeah. database that, you know, know, and, 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 and which is not enough it's not and enough. so they want to maybe contract it to some private you know firm agencies agencies who will also who are actually doing biodata registration yes contract it to them and all that so I, but I also have an issue with that. But if they can have a very credible, private, you know, individuals or companies who can also help them in doing this, so that they can fast track this. Because if with the pace they are going now, I don't think they can achieve what they want to achieve in the next five years. Okay. In other words, the the corporate agencies, the corporate partners, they, yes, they need to partner with NIMC, with the private sector. Yes, so that they can also you know capture so that that everything will be centralized at the end of the day you understand then of course if this is done that uh, they can achieve that so if that is not done then of course the slow pace at which they are going is another factor that may, may you know, that will, may, will uh, mitigate this uh, project you understand so corruption you know bureaucracies political in, will and the, and the political will are some of the things that need to be addressed oh, now, stay with us after this time out we'll be back and we'll still look into who and who should have uh, should get himself registered in this proposed digital uh, identification scheme that the government is about to embark? Stay tuned. Cut a slice of the north central Nigeria with its raw mix of cultures, treasures, treasures and amazing people. In the vibrant glory of the beauty of nature with striking landscapes. And next to best from agriculture, commerce and entrepreneurship. Put in a mix of local politics and governance from a resourceful people with amazing lifestyles, and you are right in the center of the northern Nigeria. Not Central Journal, a compendium of people, places, news and views, all in an amazing mix that bears it all. Only on Television Nigerian. Welcome to Spectacle on Television Nigeria. I am your host, Daniel Atai. still talking about uh, citizenship and patriotism and i'm still with uh, oj matthew in the studio analyzing it uh, and of course it's all about the digital uh, identification scheme proposed by the federal government 
through the Office of the National Identity Card Management Commission. Uh, Uji Matthew, yeah. uh, who and who are supposed to be eligible for this scheme? Well, this is uh, not a um, uh, voter's registration where you have a certain age that, that is eligible to vote that we are allowed to register to vote. Okay. This is about you know knowing how many people we are, okay. who we are, and I, of course it means it includes children. Yes. So <coughs> it is a project that should. I think involve, the children yes, uh, it is registration a, is ongoing yes, already. It is. It is. It, it, it should be a project for all for okay. every Nigerian. Okay. It is the Nigerian project. How many are we? You understand? And who are we? So the issue of so whether is for, I'm is, 18 years is, old no, is for no, every eligibility factor. Yes, it's for everybody and should be for everybody. Okay. You understand? And not just those of us residing in Nigeria. Yeah, they, they must you understand? It. I think we have uh, the Testron, um, the diaspora, you know, uh, project yeah. where they went to South Africa to capture some Nigerians. There. Yes, so yes. it's not just those residing in Nigeria should be Nigerians also staying in the diaspora. In, yes, in the diaspora. So and I think everybody. he also said that non-citizens who are in the country will also have their own database. Database that will have to be captured. That, that is that is the right thing to do. That is the right thing to do. Not that you have a situation where, like we like we have now, where everybody anybody can come in and leave, and you don't have the information about anybody and. This is causing a whole lot of insecurity in the land. Yeah, but as it is now, Cameroonians, Nigerians, uh, Moroccans, mm. let me say those who have black pigment, mm. they could stay in Nigeria and still identify Ghanaians to can identify themselves as Nigerians. Don't you think so? If so, they do uh, registration? Uh, yes, as it is right now, that can they be fish out, fish out if they, they, they are captured as Nigerians and then they are not Nigerians? Look, we we know who we are. Okay. By the time, now what I mean, the system can it tell? Yeah, of course it. Yeah, of course it can. It can tell. Okay. It can tell, but I know there are those who will want to beat the system by uh, trying to give false information. But you must have resided in this country for so long for you to actually know which local government you come from, which state you come from, and all that. And that is uh, by, by during the registration, you get to know who is actually giving false information. Okay, if for instance, someone says he's from Benue State, mm. and by the time you, you start to ask from which part of Benue State, which local government, and all that, you know, you now know that okay, this person is, is actually not from Benue State. So we can actually get those aliens who would want to beat the system to you know get themselves registered. If that is why we say the political will, okay, once the political will is there, we'll surely identify those who are not supposed to be registered. As Nigerians. Okay, thank you for day. coming on the program, OJ Matthew. I think that is where we are going to stop today. We are educating, it is our obligations and duty as patriotic Nigerians to also tell it to you uh, from the TV station of Television Nigerian to let you know that the digital scheme of national identification is at the corner and uh, Every Nigerian are eligible to you know, participate in this exercise. It's a five years span exercise that will take effect from any moment and uh, ensure you are captured and documented accurately because it could tell negatively against you in the nearest future, especially from five years from now, if you are not captured and identified as a citizen of this country. Either you are living in the country or you are in the diaspora. Thank you for staying with us and for watching. I remain your host, Daniel Atai. Welcome to Spectacle on Television Nigeria. I am your host, Daniel Atai.